problem number 19 um, asks us to find um, sine and cosine of theta given the information that I've got up here. So what we're going to do first is draw a picture of what that looks like. Now theta is between pi over 2 and pi, so we need this guy up here to determine which quadrant we're in. So here's pi over 2. So we're definitely over here in quadrant 2. So let's just draw out a triangle in quadrant 2. Okay, now what we need to do is come back to the x-axis on that. Now, I don't know what the angle is. Okay but I can still find sine and cosine. Here's how I'm going to do that. Tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent. So I've got a 12 and a 5, so my opposite is going to be 12, and my adjacent is going to be 5, and my angle comes from the origin. So my angle is going to be in here, but it's still going to represent this value. Okay. Now, one of these has to be negative. So notice that I'm moving left, so we're going to make this guy negative, and the 12 will be positive. Now what I need to do is get the hypotenuse. So the hypotenuse squared should be equal to the following. The hypotenuse is always going to be the positive value. So we're going to leave this as 13. Now, sine, let's see here, sine is going to be opposite over hypotenuse. So that's going to be 12 over 13. You can tell that sine is positive because, again, we're working in quadrant 2. Cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse and cosine should be negative in quadrant 2.